Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Empire at War, Zinja's Empire, where we've finally uh, secured our hold of Abyss. We've managed to take Prakith in a very, very bloody battle. I think a total of nine eighty eighties, as well as a massive amount of Black Lancets, uh, protecting that planet. It's very hard fought. But we do finally have it. So it's providing 700 income. We're going to start taxing it, get some very basic structures on there. That'd be great stuff. So we've cornered this area of the galaxy. Uh, Nazoth still holding the Duskan League. Uh, I'm not too eager to really rush that down. Uh, even on Admiral difficulty, they're not looking like they want to break out of there. Um, so we're going to leave Dornick and Odic 2 as uh, buffers for that. So it'll be an early warning sign to see if they do start moving out again. Uh, we're going to make sure that we're protecting Biss properly, I think. We want to probably... That's not too bad a garrison, really. Uh, the best protection, of course, would be to uh, break out to Abogado Ray and uh, Camper. So we're going to do that, I think, fairly soon. But the next target on the list would probably be Chandrila. It's top of the list right now. Just because it's a very awkward planet that uh, the Imperial Remnant does have. Uh, it was one of their last few remaining planets. If we go to the faction screen, uh, we can try and find them. The Galactic Empire does own eight total planets. Uh, so we'll get rid of that one. It's just in the way. Be a nice link between Brentar and Coruscant. Uh, are we trading on Coruscant, actually, is the question. That'd be great to know we're not. Um, There's not a great reason to. We do have a very limited amount of uh, capacity left for our space stations. We need, uh, we've need. we got one total slot left. I want to use that on a someone that does actually get the trade bonus. Having said that then, we also might want to look about uh, getting some action against the New Republic, might we? Because we did see a Viscount prototype uh, previously try to attack uh, Kashyyyk. But we've lost sight of it, so we have scouted some areas that the New Republic hold. And they have a lot of the galaxy, really, don't they? Pretty much the uh, southern area that we don't control. Uh, we're going to have to force Mountain Slaherian as well at some point. been saying that for a good couple of videos now, but... Uh, it's going to be rather tough with all the heavy, heavy vehicles they have there. No real extra garrison though, so it's best to get on that as quickly as possible, having said that. Uh, watch us forget about it now. So, I think really, yeah, the first thing we're going to do is go for Chandrila. We're going to use uh, our new uh, Emperor leading our, of course, Vengeance to start doing that, I think. Of course, the Emperor himself is only transported by... Quite a simple lander shuttle, so we're not going to bring him into this battle. Not a bother. Uh, we've got quite enough firepower there. We do have command from a victory led fleet commander. That's not too bad at all. Might as well bring in the extra commander there as well for that tiny bit of firepower. There we go. Very straightforward battle. It's the ground battle that's going to be difficult here. Once again, a lot of uh, turbo laser AC-80s. Some good armor, I think. Um, ATSTs as well, the second type of those, forget the full name. Uh, it's just going to be a case, I think, of uh, landing and digging in, really. I know for sure they have some uh, good juggernauts there as well. It's going to be a lot of armour to chew through. It's not going to be at all easy. So move this uh, up. I don't know why we're turning like this. If we can push up a little bit, please, we're going to start losing this. Actually, if he'll tank through there, okay, with just the uh, two supporting here, that's brilliant stuff. So, once again, just uh, making sure we deal with the necessary hard points and such on the space stations. Okay, so this is a massive map with a good main, you know, tunnel to go through, like so. Quite a long strip of land with a lot of defences uh, for either side. And we do, of course, see a planetary shield generator. Um, ideally, we'd of course be sending something fast to take one of these side command posts. So I think what we're going to do is the standard. We we'll take down one of these drop ships. Um, we'll try bringing in the Emperor. Actually, he's got tier two command, which would be excellent. Force corrupt as well, which is absolutely disgusting in the base game. Uh, we're looking at these XR85 tank droids as well. Uh, I think we'll bring in just the one for now. And we'll bring in some more infantry to begin with. But we've also bought in these uh, Dark Stormtroopers from Biss. So we want to try those out. They've got quite the mix of uh, weapons on them. Of 
course, across the whole company. But we'll uh, capture this. We'll also capture the uh, abandoned mining station over here. Be brilliant. We'll pick up this, and that will also increase our pop cap as well as grant us those extra reinforcements. Do we deploy here? That's the question. Well, I think we keep our options open for now. No need to just sending everything all at once. I forgot to <laughs> pick this up. That's okay. We'll get that with the uh, reinforcement that come out here. Right, so what do we see first? A speeder bike, some infantry. We do see a chariot LOV. Let's pick up one of these command stations at least to begin with. We see something massive hitting us there. Let's hit that to begin with over here. Uh, we want one of these and I think an anti-vehicle turret there. So we have Force Corrupt and Force Crush. Yes, please. Straight on to that LAV. Lovely stuff. So Corrupt should do as it did in the base game. Yeah, things are drawn outside. Well, there's a very nice black AC-80. <laughs> Hopefully that works for us. It does. <laughs> That's absolutely disgusting. Let's pull back. Uh, let's go one of these. So even if uh, this hasn't, you know, done loads for us, that has taken away a turbo laser AC-80, and it's distracted the enemy's uh, firepower, hasn't it? Which is absolutely brilliant. So we're not able to do too much over here. That's okay. Absolutely fine. We have an excellent overlook over here, don't we? So what we're going to do is drop down an SPMAT. Uh, a bit more infantry is always nice. I'm quite liking this tank droid as well. What sort of health does it have? 500. Could be better. We're going to want to really repair that somewhere. Mm, Candorous tanks are always useful. Let's bring one of those. Um, I think since we're dealing with turbo lasers, I think the main generator is right at the back of the base as well. It might even be over here. Can't remember off the top of my head. Mm, it's more infantry for now. Uh, might as well bring another Candorus, really. The indirect fire artillery might have been a decent idea, but with so much upfront damage coming in, I don't know. Don't really think so. Alright, so we can just sit at range here. Loving the damage actually out of this droid. We do see some speeders coming in. That's going to be a bother. They're not letting us actually build up anything, are they, in that area? Uh, group these, fire at these at long range. Where's the SMATs are coming, really? Let's just keep back a tad. Uh, the Emperor can come in and just hit things here. What do we see here? We're being hit by a turbo laser tower. In that case, we move in a little more. And the infantry can come in here. Sit just about here, and actually SMOT can help as well. Candorous units also good against those speeders, which is great stuff. It's letting us stabilize in the center. This is actually going a little smoother than I had actually anticipated. Believe it or not. Let's see if we can hit something solid. Just make sure uh, we are watching the Emperor properly. Because he's going to be more fragile than you might first have thought. He's using uh, his lightning which is excellent stuff great at sweeping out infantry well we'll certainly be using him more often okay so that's yeah that has healed up great stuff taking some control over here as well get some turrets working garrison inside here just a couple units that's absolutely fine push up with the rest and we should really take the rest of our infantry to capture this where's the emperor gone is the question, as ever. Right, let's rebuild the back to healing, come back here, support, push up with SMAT into the center, gets us excellent zone of control there. We see an anti-air turret, so that's fine. Did we lose those dark troopers? We did, that's a shame. Didn't really get to see if they were much use. Not a bother. Okay, let's bring the infantry to help out here. We destroyed another juggernaut. I'm so glad that force crap worked on the turbo laser AT-80. Gotta love conversions like that. 
Okay, now I've pushed forwards again. We've lost one hot unit, so uh, more infantry? Yeah, more infantry. Let's try these dark troopers once again. Okay, cool. We do now see that we should really be in range of that generator. I think we keep our infantry here for now. I wonder if these sandbags actually still work as cover in the very base game. I don't know if it was removed in Forces of Corruption, but uh, sitting in these sandbags here would actually provide some active cover. I am ready. Uh, let's sit in and uh, we see something about here. Tiny units of infantry there. Oh, another juggernaut. Is that okay? It's not going to do much. Not a bother. Let's get rid of that speeder, is all great. Did we destroy this? No, we did not. I do. So now we have bombardments ready. Uh, well, hmm. I think we want really to scout, don't we? Let's pull back because we're in range of that tower. Could even just scout with the Emperor, you know? Let's group him to four. I don't know why this is moving. That needs to stay deployed. Pull through to this. Okay, so of course I have the generator over here, the base generator. But the turbo laser is not going to do much against Emperor. So I really just hold. And see what he has to say about this. Get rid of that infantry, it's all good. I think we're just going to speed forwards here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we have certainly got this wrong. That's okay. Well, push over. Uh, corrupt still on timer, that's okay. We have Force Crush, which is just as good. We're gonna get screwed over, this is not good. Move out. Move out, not a good position to be in whatsoever. There we go, lovely stuff. That nearly got rather embarrassing. So that means the general generator's over here. And actually, a little tell is that we can't move anything there. Get the uh, no entry sign there. That's all good. Easy fix there then. Rush in one of these. We see that. Come on, click. And there we go, run away. Bang. Love to see it. Pull back, prepare this. Emperor's great, dealt with that. So, massive push in once again. Gotta play a little carelessly sometimes, but you know what? We could have been really stuck pushing down here. I think uh, in a past game I've played by myself, it's been a very similar position on this map. I don't know if it's exactly this planet. Um, but got myself stuck on one of these sides. Just could not break out. Could not capture the four command posts. I got limited with just five pop fighting the masses and masses and masses of garrison that the enemy had. I'd rather not hit the generator now that it's deactivated. Let's see if we can hit the factory. I wonder if we've actually run this out of uh, reinforcements. Destroy that anyway. Okay, lovely stuff. There's just a few things left now. Just bomb that because it's a bit quicker. We see something coming out here. Love these tanks. Not doing great though. Can they crush? They can. They do have air blasters. I wonder if it's not facing the correct way. Maybe that's the uh, blaster on the front. Very rarely use these. They do have something left. It's probably just uh, around here. But that'll be an excellent victory for us once again. And there we go. Four A5 Juggernauts. Turbo Laser, ACAC, a couple Deathhawk uh, wings there. Great stuff. There's a decent production planet as well as Changerila. There's somewhere else for, to, for us to put our excess uh, garrison units as well. Uh, we'll make sure to bring in the Emperor in the future. We did create a pro droid to scout out Joro because we see the New Republic has recently taken it. You can also see the Galactic Empire has recently taken Tanasi. Uh, so we might want to have a look at that as well. But we do see a sizable force here. What exactly is it? Well, it's two home ones. 
Uh, we see Brent Tanter, Tier 2 Command Modified Track Mobile Base. Okay, well, we get him while he's uh, in orbit then. And an ATAC. Well, we can't allow that. Uh, actually, what uh, command do you have? Tier 4, but still ATAC belonging to the Disgusting Rebels. Heresy is what that is. <laughs> it's not the worst uh, fleet, actually. The MC-80s, uh, they're tanks rather than damage dealers, but, I mean, let them sit long enough and they'll tear you apart. Uh, the MC-90s, again, they have Proton torpedoes, so they can do some good damage, but otherwise not the worst thing in the world. We just don't have a clear shot at them, do we? Which is a shame. So, I mean, really out of light to go on Kykelia, Sos, and Camper, but... We might have to go Talisi, Talis and Tralis, Corelli and Juro. Uh, maybe even come around the back. Denon's looking a bit strange there. Someone's just taking control of that. Ariado Authority has. Uh, right. Let's just quickly get our spy down there and see who's in orbit. See they're fiddling around over here with their fleets. Uh, but we do have Eclipse over here. So we could at least do some raids. Very nasty raids they would be indeed. Yeah, we're going to have to get a uh, true scout in there. Not entirely sure what's happening. Need to also build up Kameno because we did take that previously. Uh, let's see. We could certainly tax it, but it's a very nice defensive planet. So we'll make a planetary generator. Uh, let's make some base defenses, a couple heavies, and a barracks would be great stuff for that. Uh, let's defend aggressively by raiding Talisi, though. Now, I have actually reinforced the Eclipse with some Nova Cruisers and such. That's excellent. We can push in as hard as we like here. Just let the enemies focus us there a little. Bring in our Victory Force and Command. Start bringing in some of these Novas. And these Mists for their Ion Cannons was excellent. But it's something we're lacking, really, with the Eclipse. It does have a lot of heavy, heavy, heavy... Heavy turbo lasers, but they're not going to do loads if uh, the enemy does still have shields. One thing we might probably want out of these is a galleon to keep them active, though. But again, the eclipse is so pop hungry that I think really just go pure firepower with this. I don't mind. We, we're swimming in cash. Uh, replacing any of these extra ships is not going to be much of a bother, is it? Eclipse is also so big that we're not uh, able to target this easily. <laughs> not a bother. Let's get rid of this IC2. We'll rip that apart. What are these shields and such? 72,000 shields and nearly 100,000 hull on the Eclipse. It's absolutely disgusting. Does it really need protection? I mean, it can never be too safe, can you? Push forwards. Remove this. Actually, is that in range? Probably is, actually. Look at that. Easy game. <laughs> now, I could, of course, take Talisi, but I think the way forwards is actually to come to Gindin because they do have... Oh, no, they did have a home one. They've moved it, but we're going to still raid this just to get rid of these ships. Uh, we see another fleet hero here. No, it doesn't provide any command, but it does provide a modified Imperial 2. Not so worried about that just yet. Um, okay. It's just everywhere we look, there's enemies. <laughs> just too many things to look at. Can the Eclipse take this on, is the question. Now that we're looking at it a bit harder, because that has reinforced. Uh... That's a very good question, actually. They've taken away the home ones. No, they haven't. They're just hidden. And there's five of them now. Right, okay. Right, I don't think we want to engage that just yet, do we? We want to wait for that to thin out. Um, while it's a lot of Corvettes boosting that, it's still such a massive amount of ships to get through. Um... I don't think a start a super star destroyer is a way to go with that. Actually, I think that's uh, a numbers game there. 
Well, we'll deal with that when it comes to it. <laughs> For now, I think we will raid Gindin and pull back through Zeltras, perhaps. Well, this battle actually uh, taking its toll on us. Uh, they've stripped half the shields on the Eclipse and they've removed a lot of our protective uh, frigates. So a lot of loss. Proton torpedoes coming out out of these MC-30Cs. Uh, not a problem. They're not going to do too much damage if they pierce through the shields. I mean, it's going to happen. Um, <laughs> we'll just have to wait about to, of course, heal out. Uh, we have used our uh, massive... Uh, laser cannon on one of these MC-90s. Uh, There's not a bother there. So I think the next target, well I mean we've stripped the shields on this one. Let's get rid of the proton torpedoes from that. They do still a massive amount of damage to capital ships, don't they? We'll get rid of the turbo lasers there as well. But come on. <laughs> it's getting on my nerves now. How this just does not do as you say. But you know, it's false to the game. It's just... I can't remember it ever being this bad in the vanilla game. I have to go back to it now. I haven't played it for so long. Uh, let's get rid of some of these majestics, shall we, with their uh, slug throwers. Yeah, just not getting the uh, lasers firing that we need to once we uh, turn around like this. But we have picked through the enemy. Let's take a bit of time. But again, this just shows why I don't think a Super Star Destroyer is really the way to go with that uh, massive enemy fleet we've seen. Uh, just something small like this has picked its way through our shields here. Uh, there's only so many reinforcements we'd like to chuck us it. But having said that, it might really be the case just bring in a full nasty fleet of our own. A lot of capsule ships. Uh, but Zinch does have a good amount of anti-capital corvettes that they can bring in. That might even be the way to go, just a really nasty raiding force that come back to the forwards. Might have to give that a go. But I think we're going to rethink uh, our... Oh, they've even hit our engines at the back here. We're going to rethink our protective forces for this fleet. It might even just go uh, victories or something similar. There's lances on the back here. they go for these... Uh, Engines and such. Yes, sir. But that's the uh, end of it now. We will have to actually repair the Eclipse after this, so we're going to want to make our way back uh, through the way we came, really, I think, around the fight another battle. Sad to say. You see what I mean? Uh, even though they are only minor frigates and such, there's still a lot of them down. Uh, so we're going to pull back the way we came through uh, Talisi, I think, and just get back to Kamena for now and heal up. Uh, what can we make that's really going to help us out here? I can't remember this is for now. Denon, that was it. Um, well, we do have a lot of things available to us. Let's get something up to actually uh, look through. I don't know why that's gone like that. Two sure, actually good ones to look at. Crimson Victories are fun. And we do get the tag battle cruisers. Why not just Eclipse and the tag? <laughs> um, these, uh, what they're called yeah the hunter killers aren't necessarily bad uh maybe we could get the modulars as well mm. it's real difficult to decide exactly what's put with the eclipse very difficult indeed what source of it's 220 okay so that gives us uh, a fair bit of pop to work with it's more than i thought actually um, so the tag battle cruiser and Eclipse is looking very promising. <laughs> that would give us uh, a little bit of uh, extra wiggle room. Um, I think we'd do that just <laughs> just because it's funny uh, and because we can. Uh, we can only build so many of those. We do have a good amount here. Um, so we've got just a couple we can make, is it? Yeah, we can only have two at a time, that's absolutely fine. Uh, what else do we bring with that then? I think then again, that is actually going to have to be a uh, couple of galleons uh, and just some lances and such really for that, isn't it? Uh, let's make it a bit cheaper over here. Go for, I think, modular fleet tenders isn't necessarily bad, but it's very pop hungry. Um, 
Yeah, we just go for a few of these as well. I think they're not necessarily bad. That on Jura is looking absolutely monstrous, but it has split it up a little bit now. Um, I think we just leave it and let them, yeah, because they're trying to work their way to the core as well, aren't they? Just build up in this area. So what I want to do next, Kaikelius or the graveyard is looking good. Uh, let's just make sure we scouted out uh, Kaikelius properly. So on Kaikelius is actually just a, a small standing garrison of Ariada Authority army platoons which are absolutely terrible. Uh, they use mainly for their repair capabilities aren't they? A bit of a split up base uh, but it's not much of a bother. I think we can go straight for the main base, can't we? With their factories and barracks. Uh, send a small detachment over to destroy the base, or planetary shield generator rather, but the enemy might decide to retreat by them. Won't take much, we'll just take this uh, garrison over here. Let's uh, we would not do that one first. <laughs> we'll actually go with your orbs and stuff. Uh, don't get ahead of ourselves. Let's go. Draw their fire. Locking on. Well, it's actually a very interesting map, actually, Kaikeli. It's, uh, yeah, that's all we can really say. It's a very interesting map. Uh, we're going to have to uh, use our dropships, I think, for this, just because it's uh, weirdly large. Over here. Come on, there we go. Uh, we'll just capture four command posts here. One. Uh, but it looked like the enemy was trying to capture this one, so we want to just poke away over there very quickly. Make sure they don't get too heavy over here, well, that might be a bit too late there. Okay, so what's the pathway? Looks like it has to go around here. Yeah, alright, that's very interesting indeed. Uh, well, we can't stay there any longer, that's okay. Now, uh, stand here, repair there. Uh, yeah, that is very strange. Okay. Well, it's Candorous, one of these, and infantry, really, all the way. A9 for healing support. Uh, where's that build pack gone? Bring these units through. There's actually another build pad here, but it looks like it's going to get. Yeah, that's right in the dip of a hill. Okay. Not a bother. Let that heal up. Pull forwards. So we can uh, watch the enemy in the choke point here, actually. It would be very, very useful indeed. Uh, the, it's very difficult for them to come round. So it's not bad at all. Alright. Well, if that's the case, we pick up another couple units here, I think. Uh, if that lets us, there we go. Uh, we try and hit that planetary generator. Did I group them? Yes, it did. Right. So it looks like the enemy's not bothered about coming through this choke point, so we're just going to have to push through it ourselves. Spotted some wounded infantrymen. I've seen here. Infantry, let's get rid of that real quick because it's uh, nothing much to worry about. Drop our own so we get extra firepower onto this generator. Probably should have brought raptors in total, but not a problem. Get on top of this infantry once again just to hold our own fine. That's sort of uh, lost one to detonator. Not happy with that. Doing the K down here. Uh, a little bit of a trouble. Let's just crush this infantry, I think. Uh, pull out here. All good here though. Lovely stuff. Pull back. No need to stay up here. Could capture the command post, but it's not going to get us too much. We just want to support our own men down here. Just get rid of this infantry so it's not on our backs. Come down here, double check we're repaired. And push this command post over here. Lovely stuff. So uh, it looks like they brought up their Imperial 1L repulsor tanks. Clearly much better. Actually, they're very, very good anti-infantry. They don't quite have much armour though. Very fragile glass cannons. Uh, although I do like to employ them when I'm playing as the uh, EA. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's actually doing some good uh, damage, this this tank. If we could get a couple of those out at a time. Uh, that's probably a new very fancy main battle tank. Okay, if we pull off of here, we can actually create a repair station again. We can repair our tank. Let's make two of those. Um, push up here, heal up. It's just a simple walk through to the enemy base now, once again. Very, very easy indeed. In fact, what we can do is... Oh, we might not be able to fly through. There's a turret there. Uh, let's pull around the other way. See another of these uh, true infantry. Of the EA, those walkers. There's another A gun. Not a bother. We'll just push in like this. No, come back, come back. Don't like that whatsoever. We're actually getting a fair amount of uh, reinforcements out here, aren't they? Okay. Much more than uh, just the three that were standing, of course. Even such a small amount of uh, Barrett's factories. Push up. See another of these. Get rid of this. Push up here to destroy the turret, if possible, please. Pull through again. Uh, we'll just pull up with our gunships. See another anti vehicle turret, but the A9 has a lot of health. If I Always forget that that's like 650 health, it's huge. Absolutely huge. Once again, I think we're all good to just push in here. That would be very easy indeed. Well, I think we've got uh, time for one more battle before we have to go today, and uh, that might have to be the graveyards uh, and soft speaking maybe. Let's save both of those, count as one, because it is just going to be a space battle, so it's going to be very easy. Uh, just to make sure we're producing correctly on Chandrila. I think an advanced factory and heavy factory would be great for that. Lovely stuff. Mm, what else do we want to do over here? Let's pull back our army units. Very worried about what they're doing down here. We see you here, actually, out over here. See a couple on Denon. Looking for the game to catch up. It's stuttering a lot now. Uh, what do we have? We have uh, Afshin Makati. Uh, he's in an Imperial 2 with some excellent tier 3 command. And our lot. That was an administrator for 8080s. That's uh, interesting. Right. Does a pilot in 8080 himself? It does. He's got powers of fire as well. Rather nasty. Very, very nasty indeed. Uh, we're going to scout out Zeltrus once again and make sure we know what the hell's going on on a brick here still. But otherwise, we're going to go straight for graveyards. I think actually we can also through that, depending on what the garrison is. Let's have a look. I'd be alright for that. Uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at that. Well, that's the last time uh, I'm also in through anything. That was a massive loss. That was no need for that. Galleon and a couple standard uh, defences should not be able to do that. Um, oh, I'm going to have to be a bit of a pinch purse now and uh, use an administrator to recover those losses. Never financially recover otherwise. Uh, we've got to make one of those specifically on Mandalore as well because we lost to Kaldarby. Uh, don't like that. I can't remember what else we lost now. Um, but we're quite lacking on the minor frigate area there, aren't we? Uh, what we want is servers, coronas, lancers, uh, a couple of gallons of our own. Yeah, definitely a couple of gallons of our own. Um... Yeah, because we were going most of the Kaldavis there. That's okay. I'll be alright there. Well, let's swap very quickly. Move over to Kaikelis there. Move this fleet over here. And we can actually take the soft speaker, and we won't 
uh, auto resolve that because we will lose the eclipse, I imagine. I believe that that produced very quickly, though, that aggressor. Very, very quickly indeed. And again, our infrastructure score is very decent. Uh, let's double check our, yeah, our pathfinder is good. Go to the sauce beacon. So we get 10 uh, pot points left after bringing in the tank battle cruiser, which is absolutely disgusting. That means uh, let's have an experiment here. Uh, we can take in a gallium and one of those, two of those. All right, that's something. <laughs> Uh, the tank does provide some fighters and bombers. It's actually got a good depth of fighters there. Um, so, yeah, okay. I think if we think the tiniest bit harder, maybe cor a corona or two would be better out of this. You know? Uh, just to get the extra bits of fighters out, because the lancers aren't providing that. Uh, yeah, okay. That might be the way to go, actually. I wasn't taking the tank battle cruiser too seriously, but I did forget it had uh, any capacity for fighting the bombers. And Crows are just, of course, that much tankier, aren't they? Hmm. That might be something to think about, you know? But let's move over to the next golem. Of course, it's not really the best of tests against just a couple of uh, orbital platforms, is it? Uh, when you can certainly single-handedly take them out with a Super Star Destroyer. I'm on them. I'll take care of this. craft. I've got them in my sights. And there we go. Very easy indeed. I think, unfortunately, though, that is all we're going to have time for today. If we go for much more, it's really going to drag out. So what we'll do is just double check our scouting over Camper and Hakasi, I think. Uh, that will be the next area on the job. But that will then bring us into contact uh, with Ojum and Joro and such. And now I've got to raise a bit of a threat. Okay, well we can bring Zinj down anyway because the soft beacon is no longer a bother. Scout out camper. Uh, and where did we also create a droid? Lost them now. Where have they gone? Have one over here. Let's go to Hakasi. And we have one over here. Let's actually scout out Abogado now because it might still be about there. Yeah, that massive fleet's. Working its way over here, it has split up. We see a torpedo sphere. That is a treat, actually. No, cast is not the easiest map either, is it? What about Apogado Ray? Yeah, okay. Well, at least it has split up. The home ones are more imposing. And no, they actually are. They look more imposing than the real threat that they bring. Unfortunately, like I said, that is going to be it for today, guys. If we chase those fleets down now, this uh, episode is going to drag on for another hour or so. Uh, so it's a quick, short one today. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the future. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's always very useful and uh, enjoyable to read those. I do appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the future. And all of your nights and days, be auspicious. Goodbye.